Or should I say this actually? I'm on prep. The AIDS epidemic dominated the news cycle in the 80s and 90s, yet coverage has waned in the last decade. But that doesn't mean that HIV has gone away. According to most recent statistics, more than 100,000 people are currently living with HIV in the United Kingdom today, with 53% of all new HIV diagnoses occurring among gay men and other men who have sex with men. One of the tools being used to help prevent people from becoming infected with HIV is PrEP, pre-exposure prophylaxis. PrEP is a pill made up of a combination of medicines designed to prevent an HIV-negative person from becoming infected with the HIV virus. A pill a day is recommended for people with a sustained risk of infection. To think about the morality of it, we could save so many lives with this and save the health of so many different people. And after 30 years of, you know, um, stigma and campaigns that have really scared people around HIV. It's good to have a kind of sex positive resource in our toolkit. Being able to take PrEP in the UK, however, is dependent on which country you live in. Like in many cities globally, cost, politics and uncertainty has limited getting PrEP. Dr. Will Nutland is the founder of PrEPster, a group set up to help educate people on PrEP access. That if 25 or 30 years ago, we had known that there was a pill that you could take every single day that would stop the decimation of the communities that we saw decimated, we would have been out dancing in the streets. Greg Owen found out he was living with HIV in 2015, before being able to access the PrEP medicines. Feeling that he had been let down by the system and not wanting others to go through the same thing, Greg helped found I Want PrEP Now a website that informs people about PrEP and how to access it online or through the National Health Service. I was getting hundreds, literally hundreds of messages a day, and I just thought this is outrageous that this information isn't in language that I understand and isn't re readily accessible and that the drug isn't readily accessible. So I was really angry. You know, I was a club promoter and a sex worker, and that's kind of, and I worked in a bar at the time. So I was just like, oh, this, this is going to be, I have to do this? Not only did it not exist, but then nobody else was going to do it apart from me. In 2019, activists are coming together to help inform each other on how to access PrEP. Phil Samba is one of those voices. From being featured on the cover for Emenike's latest album, to being awarded the Gay Times Honor for STEM, Phil uses his platform to help get people using PrEP and to help stop HIV. It's, it's weird though, whether or not you use a condom, you always think there's a chance that I might have HIV. And the powerful thing about PrEP is that it actually eradicates that. And like, you get rid of that stress and anxiety. One of my old volunteers in my previous role, yeah, he basically said that PrEP saved his life. That they were in such a downward spiral that you know, it, again, HIV was just such an inevitability for them. You know, they were going out and they were in a bit of a self-destructive way. 5016 Street is a London-based sexual health clinic and are known for pioneering easy access to PrEP along with HIV and STIs treatment and testing. My name is Aaron Chady. I'm one of the health advisors at 5016 Street. You know, we're seeing very similar arguments for PrEP now that we saw about the contraceptive pill back in the 60s, you know, stigmatizing people, shaming people for kind of almost taking power over their sex. There's a lot of stigma around being gay in general, but then when you add HIV to that, it's, it, the stigma is amplified. It's more around what society deems to be normal, or what society deems to be acceptable, and it's okay if you want to be gay, but if you, you have to use a condom, and that's, that's the bottom line, and I think that's what is deemed as acceptable. PrEP is one of the most effective and cost-effective HIV prevention tools. And no other HIV prevention technology has had the impact on HIV diagnosis in a place like London. I myself am a PrEP user. PrEP access is a huge issue. You know, the no limited number of trial places certainly made for me, I felt like I should take one from someone who I feel is more deserving. We need to see PrEP made available as cheaply as possible to as many people as possible. It can be great for someone's mental health as well as their sexual health. Our stance is that all tools should be available to all people. PrEP works and make it available 